Crystal and Delano have been arguing about past infidelities, Delano's music career, and more. Now, they both took polygraph exams, and Delano had a lot to say to the examiner. Ariva has the full report. How does it yes. read, Ariva? I'm just going to read a couple of the things that you, Delano, told to the examiner. Uh, one of the things you said was, while living in Florida, you had full intercourse in your home with the female you met at Wendy's. Uh, while living in Florida, you had full sexual activity on multiple occasions with an ex-girlfriend. You participated in a sex party in which oh. you had full intercourse with two females. And that's just the beginning of this very long list. And, and the fact that the test, you failed the test, means that there's even more that wasn't disclosed to the examiner. And then we have Crystal's report. Crystal, you admitted to the sexual intercourse with three individuals, but you also told the examiner you had sex with a female? Well, we're facing the truth today. <laughs> You know, I'm struck by something. I really yeah. want to say this to you guys. Since we've yeah. revealed these results, these astounding results, yeah. no expressions on your face, so nonchalant. Yeah. What are you guys doing here? Yeah. Delano, you're never going to accomplish your dream if you're going to sex parties and meeting chicks at Wendy's and sleeping with them. You know that. You're, you're wasting your time on things that are taking you nowhere. They've only hurt you and your relationship, your dreams and your kids. Do you understand what you're sacrificing for every single moment that you give up for something that goes nowhere? I, I think, too, I, I'm a little shocked, Delano, because you told our producers that you made your wife call the wife of one of the men that she had slept with and talk so much about how she was putting your health, the health of, your, of both of you at risk by sleeping outside the marriage. But yet, this report says you were doing things thing. that put your health at risk, put your wife's health at risk, but yet you shamed her and made her call this other woman. And that's how it always is. He's always shamed me for things, but I get no closure for the things that he's done. So what wow. future do you see for you and Delano? I don't know. It's, it's a big question mark right now because, obviously, this person that I've been married to 10 years. Chris, so if I it's a big don't... question mark, then you have a rude awakening because he's telling you, you do not know people by what they say, but by their actions. Actually. And there is no future for you. There's no future because there is no trust. There is no self-respect. There is lying. There is cheating. And it's not just one time. You guys made a whole bunch of declarations on that report of several things that you guys have done. That's true. I definitely think that we are together mainly for the kids. That's how I feel, because mm. I know I'm trying. I'm trying to prove every day right. that I have moved past those infidelities and it's still thrown in my face. Yeah. And I, I understand it, but how can you rebuild from here? Mm. So, Crystal, so. do you still love Delano? I do. Mm. I do. Because you just said that you are staying together just for the kids. I and love I him. It's what. not as strong as it was before, but I do love him. Well, you could love someone, but it doesn't mean that you have to be with them. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Dr. Judy. Whether or not you stay together, you have four children, and you need to work on that. You need to make sure you are good parents for those four children. With all of these infidelities and trust issues aside, that's what I want your focus to be. Not even your relationship with one another but how you can be good co-parents mm -hmm. for your children. Yeah. So we are gonna offer you some professional support for that. Michael and Michael Counseling and Consulting near your hometown in Georgia are gonna provide you with 12 sessions of counseling to help you move forward and think about what it really means to be a family. Maybe it doesn't mean that there's a romantic connection, but you need to be better examples for your children. I just want to say to Delano and Crystal, you know, I hope you all take the counseling so that you can improve your family if you feel that it's worth fighting for. But you guys have got to be honest and start making better choices for sure. So Delano and Crystal, thank you all so much for having the courage to face the truth and know that we wish you the best.